Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. If you don't know, Mini Lad has been in quite a bit of trouble this year. He has done a few things, a few things have come out that he has done previously that aren't, let's just say, pleasant. Or very legal, for that matter. But other than being a channel that just rehashes all the information and the people that came out about him and his video addressing it. Before I do go on though, I just want to say that I didn't actually know that anything had happened until he made a video clearing the air. But this video is about why I don't think Mini Lad will ever stream again. And in subtitle, subtext, uh, why I don't think there will ever be another meme stream. Now, a meme stream was a thing that he made where people could send in videos of memes and he'd react to them or whatever. It was a whole thing, I think he did like 30 or 40 episodes or something. But because of what came out, the accusations that came out, YouTube actually did something about it. Now, if you've been following the whole mini light thing, then you'll probably already know that YouTube has, as far as I know, demonetized his channel. Ironic considering he had a tour called Demonetized with a big jiggly panda. But aside from that, I do also think his second channel is demonetized as well because I went on there when a couple of videos without ad block and I didn't get any ads. So I'd also say that there's also demonetized. Now he started meme streams on YouTube and they went to Twitch. Now, interestingly enough, although YouTube have demonetized him, he's still verified on Twitch. Now, I know that if there is enough outcry that Twitch have taken away people's uh, partnership, that may be the next thing that happens. But as he live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, uh, I don't know if he'd live stream on Twitch if it wasn't a meme stream these days. But the reason why I don't think he will live stream is because of the comments. Now, it's easy enough to make a YouTube video and not read the comments, especially when you're someone of his uh, subscriber base. You will get so many notifications for comments that it's just easier to not read them because you kind of would want to try and keep up with all of them and you literally can't because there's like thousands. Now, although there's comments in his comment section that are getting stuck into him and uh, calling him names and saying that he should go jail and stuff, it's a different story when it comes to live streaming. Now, if he were to just live stream normally, like let's say hypothetically he's doing a just chatting like this, if he were to do that, it still wouldn't really work in my opinion and that is purely because of the comment section now he can ignore the uh the comments like the live chat let's say they're calling him names or something like that whether it be justified or not let's say they're calling him names he, he can ignore that there are like twitch streamers like ninja and stuff that have such a quick chat that they just don't read it because they can't keep up so if that were to hypothetically happen, then that would be okay in that regard, except when it comes to donations, you can't really ignore them. Now, he may have text-to-speech set up, uh, that's probably worse to be honest, but even if he didn't, it'd be difficult for him to ignore donations, uh, because you'd have to check if they were nice, and if they were nice, you'd have to, or you'd likely acknowledge them. But if they were nasty, then you'd also, chances are you would read them because you don't know if they're nice or not until you read them. So that's one issue. But the other issue is that if he were to do a meme stream, it's even more difficult because people send in videos for meme streams because they send in videos of memes and stuff for him to react to. And I don't know how the system works. I'm pretty sure he had someone helping him for most of them. 
previously. Uh, I know that his editor, Ty, is no longer associated with him. So I don't know if he would even have someone to filter through the videos and be okay with one and not okay with the next or skip if need be. But there is a good chance that people would just send in videos that were memes and just videos that were insulting him and such. And whether they're valid or not, that is not a uh, it's not a good good place to be. He posted that he was taking care of his mental health, and for him to live stream and be bombarded with that, uh, whether you think it's valid or not, is not a good not a good thing for his mental health. Whether or not you respect his mental health or not, whether or not you think that his mental health should be respected in general, whether or not you think that people should even care or whether you think he should be in jail or whatever. Uh, I think that if his main focus, his personal main focus is his mental health, that he won't live stream again, either for a while or ever. Because this isn't something that's just going to go away. It's been a few months now and the majority of the comment section of his videos, he still uploads, he uploads most weeks I think. They're still the same thing and they're saying that we won't forget, which is fair enough, you know. I don't expect people to let go and I don't think that they should. I think that there should be a level of accountability and that he should get in trouble to some extent. I don't actually think that there's going to be a chance of uh, him going to court or anything over it. Although I think if the person were serious, that they probably actually should take him to court or something along those lines. Either of the people that have come forward. I do understand though that PTSD is probably preventing them and their own mental health issues are probably preventing them from taking it further and that them speaking out on a public platform like Twitter or YouTube was a big step and I completely understand that. But I wanted to make this video to just kind of explain a side that I don't think people have really spoken about, about mini lad live streaming. Now, as I said previously in this video, he's still partnered on Twitch, so if people aren't already campaigning against that, then they probably will. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. But, thanks for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, if this is the kind of video you can enjoy, just leave a like. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I make videos about a whole bunch of things. Not just me, like this is the first mini lab video I've actually ever made. My last video was about Lee Marie Johnson. Then before that was a mental health update. Then before that was about Mars Argo. You know? Do anything and everything on this channel. But if you are interested, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss an upload. And I'll see you soon for more content. Peace.